confirms an earlier analysis by Eurasian Times of a concerted U.S. effort to reverse its huge logistical weakness in the face of an admittedly powerful peer adversary that could inflict dire losses on the U.S. military. China knows the U.S. has traditionally led the way in stealth technology, and the B-21 is likely to outperform the H-20 and even Russia's Pak da stealth bombers to some extent. Beijing is deeply worried about the B-21, and Chinese military planners fear a major propaganda victory for the U.S. Even a tactically salient victory for the B-21s would degrade China's technologically rivaling United States aura. That means the streamlined invincible J-20 stealth fighters, the impenetrable A-2AD Great Wall, the impenetrable integrated air defense network, and the larger U.S. Navy cannot stop U.S. bombers. To attack mainland China, Eurasian Times analyzes this option now available to the Chinese military as the defensive attack of the offensive defense it uses. Analysts also call the latter China's active defense doctrine. Here China is expected to maintain offensive actions at the operational and tactical levels while maintaining a defensive attitude at the strategic level or in other words, tactical offensive and strategically defensive. In the South China Sea, China has a home advantage in missiles that outperform the U.S. inventory. YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles range 540 km and PL-15 beyond visual range 300 km air-to-air -air missiles outperform the U.S. Harpoon with a range of 240 km and AIM-190D 161 km, while the DF-21D missile threatens ship's U.S. parent. Even other Chinese ballistic missiles could preemptively take out U.S. and Australian naval assets in the first and second island chains. The DF-16 short-range ballistic missile SRBM can reach 1,000 km, that is the first island chain. The DF-26 medium-range ballistic missile can reach 3,500 km, hitting the most important yet farthest U.S. naval base in the western Pacific Guam. And it was Guam's vulnerability to the Chinese DF-26 and North Korean Wasong-12 missiles that motivated consideration of giving Australia the B-21 Raider.